I'm going to need you guys to pay close attention to what I'm saying because this is serious and I'm sure every single one of us has done this probably multiple times throughout the week even, uh, maybe even once a day. And that is the sin of comparing yourself to others resulting in jealousy, bitterness, uh, covetousness, desiring things that others have and just not being thankful for the stage of life that you're at or in or the experience that you go through, the things that you have, right? Let me read you guys this. James 3, 14 says, but if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but it is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. That's deep demonic think of that when you see someone further along in their walk than you and you get that jealousy like why can't i be as far along as they are in their walk or the way that they walk out their faith that's why why am i not there that's selfish right now i would i would in my mind think that that's righteous jealousy but is that demonic what about Okay, so for instance, this is my other YouTube channel, right? It's got 8,000 subscribers on there almost, but it doesn't do very good at all. The, the the videos don't get views. And there's a reason for that, right? And I've, I've been convicted by it. And I understand why it doesn't do that well. It's because I'm trying to be something and trying to copy other people's content because it's a faceless YouTube channel. And I'm trying to copy these other videos that have gone viral or these other videos to get all these views. And I'm comparing myself to these videos. Why isn't my channel blowing up? Why isn't my videos doing good? What's going on here? And the thing is, because I'm literally copying someone else's work. Now, the words are mine. The words aren't the same, but I'm taking their topic. And it's not even something that God has implanted on my heart most of the time. Sometimes it is. But a lot of the times... The, the I'm just looking to see what other videos have gone viral, what other videos have had success, and then I'm making a video off of that versus this channel right here, guys, this little bitty channel where I've got like five videos on and all the videos, not all of them, most of the videos on this channel here get way more views than the videos on my other channel. And so it, here I am this whole time comparing myself to other people, comparing myself to other channels. And I'm low key getting jealous about it. Like, why is my channel doing better? You know, and at the end of the day, it's because my heart wasn't in it. I wasn't putting the works that the Holy Spirit was putting into me to 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 put into that content. And while this isn't really about me, per se, I, I'm just using my story as an example. The experience that I'm having as an example, because I know that the jealousy, the envy, the the sin that comes from me, um, being upset about why the, the channel wasn't being fruitful. That's the reason why it's not grown. Whereas here on this channel, I just speak to you guys about stuff that touches my heart. If it gets views, it gets views. But I know that there's someone out there that's going to resonate with this message because it's touching my heart. The Holy Spirit doesn't give you a message that isn't going to impact somebody's life for nothing. Right? If it impacts your life, if it makes a difference and convicts you, it's probably going to do the same for someone else. And so, man, when I read that, and it was saying that it's demonic. I'm like, man, that's why I feel so icky about it. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I feel so gross about it. I'm, I'm not like feeling joy whenever I'm having these thoughts. I'm not happy whenever I'm like, why isn't this going that way? Or why can't I do this? Why haven't I got, you know, $100,000 in the bank like so-and-so does? Or why, you know, but there's disciplines, there's effort, there's works that go into all these things, right? And so when you see someone that's like, you know, working at a job and they may have been on the job for five years, let's just throw out some some numbers. Say this person's been working on the job for five years, but they don't really apply themselves. They come in, they do the bare minimum. They're cool with just coming in, clocking in, clocking out and getting a paycheck and going home. They're not really worried about getting further in their career. Then you get someone that's, you know, it doesn't even have to be a younger person, but someone newer to the job comes along and they're staying extra. They're offering help on everyone on the team. Like, hey, I'm done with my work. Do you have anything I can help you with? Do you have anything I can help you with? 
and then they stay after. They arrive early. They stay late. They're always smiling. They're always doing the best they can to put their best foot forward. They're working like they're working for the Lord. And they get a promotion for a job that's higher than this five-year person that's been on staff in less than a year because they're putting so much effort into it. They're working with the joy of the Lord. They're always smiling. They're always helping. That type of effort gets rewarded. And it's the same thing in your spiritual walk. When you come into your faith and you're so on fire for the Lord and you start seeing all the fruit of the spirit and you start seeing how the Lord is changing you from the inside out and you start to get the joy of the Lord, just you can't contain it. You want to tell everyone, look what Jesus did for me. Jesus can do it for you too. That's the type of fire we need to carry with us, right? That's the good spiritual uh, uh, gifts. That's the good type of righteous jealousy. Like, you know, not that we're supposed to compete or not that we have to work for our salvation, but like, let's make it a, a brotherly competition. Hey, bro, we're going to go out and speak over the neighborhood today. Let's see how many people we can lead to the Lord. You know what I mean? Like, let's do this for the kingdom of God. And I promise you, when you're doing stuff for the kingdom that really, truly matters, it's not even about like personal gain or personal reward. It's about racking up treasures in heaven, you know? And so when I get to heaven, I want to, I want to hear Jesus say, well done, my good and faithful servant, because I didn't bury the talents. I didn't get saved from the treacherous past that I had and the wretched soul that I was to just not tell anybody, hey, look, I used to be a piece of crap, guys. I've got felony rap sheets of all these heinous crimes that I did. I've got people after people that I ripped off that I, you know, I, I did bad. I, I treated like crap. I've got all these these women in my past that don't have good stories about me because I treated them bad, you know, but I've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. And I'm not that same person anymore. And Jesus doesn't see me that way. He sees me as a new creation. So if I bury that talent and I don't tell anybody that's been in the same walk of shoe, my, you know, walk of life in my shoes, that's had the same past or is currently walking through some of the same things that I've gone through. If I don't tell them, hey, man, that's not that's not the end of your story. In fact, your story hasn't even begun yet. If I don't tell them that I'm burying the talent, if I go out and I tell one person that's sharing my talent, if I go out and I tell five people that's sharing my talent and those five people tell five people and then those five people tell five people. And next thing you know, we've got thousands of people hearing about the word of Jesus because I was obedient to sharing the gift that Jesus gave me, which is my salvation. The Bible says that it's for all Gentiles, for all, not just for the Jews. It's for the whole world. Go out into the world. That means everybody. It's not just for the Israelis. It's for all of us. It's not just for the rich. It's for all of us. It's not just for the poor. It's for all of us. It's not for black. It's not for white. It's not for green. It's not for brown. It's for all of us. So... You know, we get out here and we start to compare ourselves and wonder why someone else is shining, doing their thing and seeing all these good results. And then we get to getting jealous, you know, and in the streets, people hate on each other. and They talk down and they do that in the Christian world, too. You'll see it. Comments, comments will get made on this channel. People always got something negative to say about something. But at the end of the day, that's an internal struggle they're having. People don't want to give up their sin to follow Jesus. But look, I promise you. You can't give up anything for the kingdom of God that won't be given back to you tenfold. So I don't know who needs to hear this message. I know somebody out there is dealing with the, the, the devil stealing their joy by comparison. And my heart tells my heart just wants to tell you guys, don't do that. Just give it up to the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you ideas that will help elevate you in the area that you need it. Whatever the growth is that you're trying to make, pray to the Lord to give you guidance. Pray to the Lord to give you ideas to help you obtain that goal. Um, and then most of all, do it as unto the Lord. If you're doing it for personal gain or if you're doing it for yourself, you're not going to reach the mark as fast as you could if you would let God have it. So I encourage you guys, give it all to God. Walk in faith, not by sight, guys. That's going to do it for this one. Please share this video with a friend. I know some. I know you all know somebody that needs to hear this message. That's going to do it for this one. God bless. See you guys in the next one.